Hey there, Backyard Agains. It's Jeremy with the Backyard Bourbon Broadcast. How y'all are? Hey, uh, it's a video version of this podcast today. Um, I'll put the audio on SoundCloud, but um, if you're watching our Backyard Bourbon Broadcast on YouTube, howdy. How's it going? How y'all are? Hey, um, still enjoying the uh, Wild Turkey 101, so if you don't mind... Ah, you gotta love that cork action, right? Let's just try a little bit of that. Something like that, something like that, something like that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, Hey, it's episode 26 of the Backyard Bourbon Broadcast, and... I know you wouldn't know this because um, nobody listens to this or watches this channel, but uh, it's been a while since I've been on, so uh, I figured I'd just go through and do another one, just a little update how you, how we're doing here. Um, I'm really loving this Wild Turkey 101, but I did uh, do a little price shopping around town, um, looking at um, just prices, and man, some of these liquor stores are just going a little nuts with the prices and some are doing a great job trying to help out the consumer so um i mean i'm all for people making a profit but you can't get a home run on your first swing there gee what is it's like they're going for retirement as soon as they open the place up anyway um i've seen some uh reviews on old granddad and um, I'm kind of tempted to, to try that out here pretty soon. And uh, just one of those, I, I just like Four Roses, I probably wouldn't have tried it. Just like Wild Turkey 101, I wouldn't have tried it. Just sometimes the, the packaging, the marketing, you just wonder what they're doing. But um, I think uh, the Wild Turkey 101 definitely showed me that I needed to uh, lighten up. Okay, excuse me, I'm going to have to let Liam out here. Hang on a second. You are a mess. Of course, first video podcast, and I gotta let the dog out. Get a dog, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No, I'm just kidding. I love having a dog. Anyway, um, so um, YouTube favorites. I'm really loving the um. Oh, the first one's probably Whiskey Vault. Look up Whiskey Vault on YouTube. Those guys do a great job of uh, honest taste tests of, of bourbons. Um, they're making the content I wish I was making right now. Um, so if you want to find somebody who's actually doing a good job of this, bail out on me. I won't take offense to it. I would too, if I were you. Um, check those guys out. Um, again, it's Whiskey Vault. One of my favorite episodes so far. Uh, they were doing uh, Tennessee whiskey. They were doing Jack Daniels. The only difference between Tennessee whiskey, I'll stop pointing at you, sorry. Tennessee whiskey and Kentucky bourbon, the only difference is that once the bourbon is finished in in Tennessee whiskey, they they just filter it through uh, maple charcoal. So Tennessee whiskey, Chris Stapleton's, you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Um, It's more or less just a localized bourbon from Tennessee. So one of these days I'm going to do a blind taste test between um, Jack and maybe Knob Creek or Wild Turkey 101. Speaking of Knob Creek, I was getting away with some really good prices. It was like 53 bucks for a handle of Knob Creek. That sucker has jumped up to 70 something. You people gotta stop drinking this Knob Creek. You're making it too popular. Um, let's see, another YouTube favorite, uh, Still It. That's a guy from New Zealand that's um, doing home, home distilleries. And I was like, oh, man, I would love to do that. Wouldn't you? I mean, if you had the money to, to buy the still and all of that stuff, just make your own batch. I would love that. Um, but as always, in the U.S., when it comes to alcohol, Uncle Sam has to get involved, get his fingers in it, totally flub things up. Uh, so, yeah, it turns out home distilling is illegal in the U.S. unless you've got permits and licenses and mind the pockets of politicians, etc., etc., etc. I'm still interested. Still, it is very interesting. The guy is great, but um, come on, U.S., lighten up. You know? Um, what's another one? It's Bourbon Night. A uh, guy and a gal doing that. Um, great job doing blind taste tests. 
Um, they're very methodical in how they break it down, and they, they do it a really cool way, kind of like bracketology in March Madness, where they just set up rows of bourbons and just put them up head-to-head. Blind taste test. They don't know what they're picking, and a lot of times they're as equally surprised as the viewer is on what they picked. Um, in fact, uh, one of the things I've been noticing is that there are very varied opinions of bourbons of just common bourbons like the 101 some people hate it i know one of the guys on it's bourbon night did not like wild turkey 101 a couple years later he comes back to it and just loves it um i guess i'm fortunate that i loved it right off the bat but i'm probably the same way with maker's mark i am truly not a fan of maker's mark i don't know what it is it's not like i turn it down if i had nothing it's just that i just just doesn't do it for me i guess so um yeah varied opinions uh whiskey vault those guys dogged wild turkey 81 i've never had it before so i don't know anything about it but um it won at least one round on its bourbon night one of their best bourbons under 25 videos that they did um best bourbons under 25 dollars sorry i ought to clarify that so anyway um that's what's going on Um, check out those YouTube channels. Those are really cool. Uh, let's see. Trying to do stories that I've written. They're funny as I wrote them, but trying to explain them and do them verbally. uh, I'm not, I'm not good at that. I I almost literally fell asleep listening to my own story. It was that bad. So, um, I'm going to be working on that. Trying to get those, uh, a little faster paced, man this one I wrote about my friend um, whose truck got stalled in a beaver pond when we were four-wheel driving up in Colorado Um, the story I think took longer to tell than the actual event took and that event took like eight hours so it was excruciating so I'm saving you all the um, torment of having to listen to that man my dog is going nuts anyway Hey, I hope you enjoyed this version of the Backyard Bourbon Broadcast. Um, Hope to intersperse some of my own personal video shots and and, um, tantalizing photos of bourbon. But uh, take care or something, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Cheers. We'll talk at you later.